Life's too short to drive boring cars. So in this used car market, it's very difficult to find a great vehicle. Often a lot of them are imported from out of state or province. A lot of them have accident history or have been poorly maintained and actually neglected. But sometimes there's just those used cars that have really, really high miles. And you wonder, is there value in owning some of those? I mean, back in the day, you'd consider 100,000 miles a great benchmark if a vehicle could go that far. But now 100,000 is no longer the benchmark. It's risen up to at least 200,000 miles. Just because vehicles are better engineered, there's better use of oils, better fuels that go into these vehicles, research development, and the learnings from previous mistakes that make vehicles in general much more reliable and longer living than they once were. And let's face it, some people just want a used vehicle. They don't necessarily want that new one. Possibly they're looking at using it for ride sharing, maybe Uber eats or they just know they're going to rack up the miles and they don't want to feel the burn of the depreciation on that new vehicle. Regardless of what your motivation is, there's lots of vehicles that are great for a lot of miles and they're safe to buy with higher miles. There's some vehicles that'll go hundreds of thousands of miles without even thinking twice and then there's other vehicles that barely make a hundred and you'll be begging for the dealer to take it back. But I'm going to help each and every one of you because I know you probably wonder if you're forced into the corner of having to buy a higher mileage used vehicle, which ones are actually a safer bet to buy? I mean, because let's face it, nobody wants to wind up with a dud and nobody wants to have a used car run them in the poor house. So let's just dive into a list of five amazing vehicles that you can find with huge miles and you're not worried about them going for a whole lot longer because they will. Let's get into it now. So the first car, if you saw it at a dealership, say it at 120, 150,000 miles, that you could feel confident that you could still buy it and know that you'd get a lot of miles out of it, would be one of, no, that's not it. It's right here, we have a Lexus IS. They've gone through a lot of different styles. You can get the IS250, which was a 200 horsepower, direct injected V6, was a little down on power. Then you also have the IS350. This has a 311 horsepower V6. Rear wheel drive makes it fun. Toyota reliability buried under the hood with that naturally aspirated V6 is sure to last a long, long time. And over here we have an IS200, which is a turbo four cylinder engine, and it makes about 240 some odd horsepower. Also extremely reliable also rear-wheel drive, and they're both very luxurious. You get all kinds of style with these cars. You've got great headlights, great little accents, wonderful gunmetal gray rims, great mirrors. You've got sunroofs, wings in some cases, LEDs on IS350, and this is an F-Sport, but you can also get all-wheel drive versions as well. They truly are great vehicles. They're, they perform well, they're easy to maintain, and honestly, if you take care of them, they're good for two, three, four hundred thousand miles without even blinking. I mean, Lexus has built such a reputation based on the Toyota sister brand that all that attitude of perfection ensures that if something isn't right, they make sure they get it right next time. They never blow you away or wow you with the latest technology, but they're always in line. They always have the modern tech. But the point isn't being the first one to the table with the latest piece of technology. The point of it is further development and honing out any issues or glitches that might have existed and ensuring these vehicles are primarily trouble free for many, many years. And another great vehicle is an SUV and it's guaranteed to last hundreds of thousands of miles as well. And you're sure to have a great vehicle that are gonna be trouble free for many years. <laughs> no, sorry, I messed up again. It's actually right there's a Cadillac Escapade. Sorry, or Escalade. But if you're like me and you prefer your grill design a little more subdued and a little more conservative, I'd personally go with the GMC Yukon or Yukon XL or of course the Denali, which is identical in this vehicle other than the grill assembly because both the Denali as well as the Cadillac Escalade both share the 6.2 liter V8 that makes about 420 horse and about 460 pound feet of torque way more than enough power to tow this rig down the road. And if you're looking to haul your boat to the lake or you're looking at towing your trailer to the cabin, or maybe you want to haul the kidlings around in the back seat, possibly put a canoe on the roof or haul a bunch of junk to the dump, this is your rig. Now, while the Cadillac's certainly more upscale, the Yukon isn't quite so blinged out and certainly has a lower price tag to commensurate. But it's a 6.2 liter V8. There have been a few issues lately with rocker lifter issues. For the most part, the large V8 chugs along very very slowly at low RPMs on the highway, making it last a very, very long time. Also strapped to that 6.2 liter V8 in both the Denali as well as the Cadillac Escalade, you get a 10 speed automatic transmission, making sure that the vehicle's always in the right gear for maximum fuel economy. But what is it about this vehicle that makes it last? Let's take a quick look first. 
We have great headlights if you like the Escalade style, the big bold grill, which is a little bit menacing, but some people do like it. Of course, you got the roof racks on top, Escalade all over on the badging, as well as a great little mirrors and soft touch handles front and back, and these massive oversized rear lights on this Escalade. And of course, you have this massive tailgate that allows you to throw a lot of large junk in the back. You always get all the nice wheels, drop down running boards along the sides, so they're a very clean look. But really it's not all the bling and features and options that this thing carries, why this thing will last a long time and why it's a safe bet if you're looking at a used vehicle with high miles. It's because of that big V8 that's not working very, very hard. It's also because what we have here is essentially a truck chassis. It's sitting on a steel body on frame chassis. It's nothing more than an I-beam underneath. And as a result, no unibody here. This vehicle will last a long time. Very sturdy, can gobble up the bumps, can take a beating down rough roads, off-roading. And you generally don't develop all the squeaks and rattles and deterioration within the chassis that you do with a lot of unibody vehicles. Truck body, big V8, translation, long living vehicle. And how about another one that's guaranteed to last a lot of miles? So if you find one with high miles, don't fret. Oh no, no. Definitely not that one, it's actually Toyota Camry like we have right here. Spry performance, transversely mounted engine regardless of the four cylinder or the V6 as optional engine puts out 300 horsepower out of a three and a half liter V6 and they're driven primarily to the front wheels. You can get an optional all wheel drive setup configuration but very similar to the family that you're finding with the Lexus. The latest Camry has great styling accents on the headlights as well as the front grille. If you don't like the Lexus style, you find a slightly more palatable design right here in the Toyota. Beautiful laser cut wheels and these beautiful high gloss black mirrors, of course, with the LED strip. And look, even these come with an oversized glass panel on the roof, different accents. We've got a little wing on the back and little accents there as well. Beautiful, not just two, but four. So you've got a quad tip on this Camry, and it's the XSE, which is the loaded up version. These vehicles are literally gorgeous. Toyota's come a long way in styling. Performance with the V6 is as good as anything from mid-level BMW, and your conscience won't take a hit because you're driving something that's reliable and it's going to last a huge amount of time. Yeah, if I walked into the car lot and I saw this vehicle here, and it happened to have 140,000 miles on it, I wouldn't think twice if I felt good about the price. These cars will go forever. And the next one on my list, if you stumble across on a dealer and it actually has high mileage, I wouldn't fret about buying it. Actually happens to have a 4.6 liter V8, has about 300 horsepower, and its other market name is the Prado. And it's, no, that that's not it. I keep messing up. Sorry guys, it's the Lexus GX 460. Yes, it's a Lexus, it'll last forever. Beautiful bright headlights. Of course, we got the nice gunmetal wheels. Huge stepping boards there, lots of chrome accents. Look at the handles, two-tone, beautiful. Lots of access in the trunk, very utilitarian in the GX460. It can usually haul a bunch of weight if they're equipped. Big bold taillights, massive utilitarian style, running racks for the garbage to the dump runs. Of course, look at those beautiful mirrors. And it's just an overall bold styling accent here. Beautiful vehicles. And they are actually a Land Cruiser in other markets. But the Lexus is going to last literally forever. Between the Lexus GX and the LX, they will go on and on. And have we got another great one for you. Again, clearly you walk onto the dealer lot and you find that car of your dreams and you think, hey, oh, but it has 110,000 miles, should I buy it? No, that, that's not it either. Boy, I just keep messing this up real bad. But here, it's actually... And right here we have the Honda Accord. Beautiful cars, not over the top, not offensive, but very attractive nonetheless. Beautiful cars, wonderful headlights on there, chrome front nose on there. Of course, you've got a great styling on the front bumper, looks sharp laser cut wheels and of course this beautiful mirror with that little light on there. You do get a sunroof which tells you you don't have to live without some of the luxury amenities just because you're not buying a luxury brand. Then you go down here you have these beautiful rockers down here, chrome handles, beautiful tail lights on this touring model and you get a wing to boot on this Accord. More chrome down below and a great tailpipe. On this beautiful Honda, it's a beautiful vehicle, no less. But you could get a manual transmission up to about a year ago. If you're buying a used car, that's probably what I'd search for. The CVT, not quite as desirable. 
Another engine that would be the preferred one would be the two liter turbo four. I'd avoid the 1.5 possibly. They're great engines, but there is an oil dilution issue on a small percentage of vehicles. But quite frankly, Honda Accords have always been known as a staple of reliability, durability. They run forever. Did you realize I've even seen a 1985 Honda Accord the other dry day driving around. It was rusted out, but it was still driving and there was no burning oil coming out of the back. It sounded like it was running like a Swiss watch. But that's basically what you're going to expect from a Honda Accord. They're phenomenal vehicles, easy to live with, affordable, and they'll run two, three, or 400,000 miles if you take care of them. And with all of that said, if you're curious about the video I was speaking of before, right there, you're gonna wanna check that out. That's the reason why you probably wanna buy a brand new vehicle over a used one. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I'd love to see you next time, and we'll catch you real soon. Bye-bye.